This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Sylvia Perez, Linda Yu, and weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler. This is ABC 7 News at 11. And on the Health Beat today, we're going to tell you about a new prosthetic foot that is improving quality of life after an amputation. There are more than 4 million amputees living in the United States today, and while prosthetics can significantly improve a person's quality of life after an amputation, it is far from the real thing. A new prosthetic foot is changing everything. You feel more comfortable with the machine now? Working out at the gym is part of Patty Chambers' routine. She leads an active life even after losing her foot in a car accident at the age of 14. She spent most of her life with a prosthesis. When I first began in 1947, they had the old corset lace-up variety with the steel sides to it. But prosthetic limbs have come a long way since then. The latest is this new ankle. It has a brain. The system uses several sensors, uh, again with the artificial intelligence system, to constantly be thinking and analyzing the patient's walking, just like the, the person's brain. The new technology starts here with the device that can mimic the human body. Each device is custom made to match the patient's walking style. We're able to offer the amputee full anatomical range of motion. The microprocessor inside the ankle constantly changes the position of the foot with respect to ground. The device fits easily, and Patty says it's a far cry from the painted wooden prosthetics she wore as a young woman. It's great. It's very smooth. It's got a lot more, um, I have a lot more leverage getting up and down and walking, moving. The more that we can connect the human brain and the prosthesis, the more functional, safe, and lifelike the amputee's abilities will become. Researchers say the device will be available to the public in about two years. Patty Chambers says the thing she's looking forward to the most is the chance to wear a variety of high heels. It's great for her, isn't it? Mm -hmm.